Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian and I think I have a workable solution for the moment with regards to my camera issues, but we're going to find out when we get around to editing. Uh, <laughs> today we are going to finally do the dank memes from Site19 video I wanted to do two weeks ago, uh, combined with uh, the one that I should have done this Tuesday as well. So let's open up our dank memes gonna be memes from both sets a week so some of these might be a little older um this is the serpent's hand they don't lock they don't kill or lock up safe anomalies and instead protect them they don't randomly grieve groups be like the serpent's hand yeah but mm, serpents don't have hands so really wh who's the hero here the thing i have with the serpent's hand is that um it's the department of archives and documents that's interesting the thing I have about the Serpent's Hand is that uh, they're treated as though they're the big, I mean, not always, but it's often treated as the big, the real big good in an SCP universe. But, like, <laughs> they're ineffectual most of the time, and they're non-interventionalists, which is a problem. They don't get involved in, you know, uh, the, the world events the way you would expect them to. I mean, not in, in this thing about the serpent's hand. I have my own interpretations of what they are and what they do based on based on the stuff I've read. Uh, but people modern or modern writers might come up with better ideas of how the serpent's hand works. I personally have never really liked them too much because like their whole thing is not not to, in order to in order to exist in the SCP universe, you've got to exist in some sort of morally gray area, and the fact that they don't kind of makes it so that they don't get to be involved in most things uh, i'm not sure who oh wait actually hold on the first meme about the servant's hand was written by goi ball fan and then this one is by major calgar okay because i want to make sure i get the names said out loud uh, save myself some trouble in the in the editing of the actual video description the SCP and the discussion tab. So a, a lot of authors will tell you that, uh, and I don't know how true this is, but a lot of authors will tell you they'd rather have a negative comment on the discussion tab than an upvote. I'm not one of those people. I'd rather have an upvote than a negative uh, comment on the discussion tab. But I think a lot of people, uh, you know, they find a lot of value in that, especially, you know, for improvement. Let's put it that way. I try to make sure that I get negative comment, negative uh, feedback uh, out of the way before I post rather than after it's just how I've always looked at it SCP <laughs> so this one is by pivot underscore OB SCP 914's test logs SCP 914's description um, this is true of a lot of the early SCPs and in fact even if we're not talking about test logs a lot of what makes them what they are is the isn't the article itself which is quite short but instead, the uh, massive amount of tales or just supporting uh, content. And 914, 914's test logs is a good example. 914 is not particularly interesting in and of itself, but add in the test logs and people find it compelling for some reason. Not judging. I'm judging a little. Uh, this one is by Shadow Isas. SCP is classified as safe, be like. Lift bar to create a mass extinction. Yeah, um, I actually really like these kinds of SCPs, and there's quite a lot of them on the SCP wiki. The kind that are basically safe because they're, you know, like a nuclear weapon is safe, because as long as you don't mess with it, it's not going to end the world. But, well, technically that's not true. Maintenance and all that. But <laughs> if you don't actively deploy them, the world won't end. Uh, and the same thing kind of goes for this bar, which I wish there was a Creative Commons uh, image of, like one that could be confirmably could Creative Commons. This looks like somebody just took this as a picture. Um, I imagine that this is uh, part of some sort of museum display. I mean, probably, and that's what's above it. And you lift the bar and it <laughs> creates a mass extinction. <laughs> But it's still it's still a great image, and uh, yeah, the best SCPs are the kinds that don't actively that aren't actively harmful. I think. And this one is by T T D Dorn. Nope, let's get this right. T D Dorn underscore Skeletal underscore Man. 
It's a Keter, Finn. We used to lock them up. But they keep breaking out because they're Keters. No, they broke out because you let them live. That's, can't argue with that. Um, I mean, the GOC does have a point there. There's world-ending, extremely dangerous SCPs. And, and, and sometimes when we say, well, the SCP Foundation doesn't kill anomalies, we say it in a way that makes it seem like uh, that's the superior option. It's not. The SCP Foundation is incredibly uh, irresponsible to do the, what things the way they do. And this is the last meme by that underscore damn underscore kid. I guess I could just say that damn kid, but, you know, here we are. Watching SCP content creators who respect their source material, put genuine effort on their content, and care about the community be like. Dr. Sumerian, SP Illustrated, Site 42. Ugh. I used to have stronger opinions about the rubber, but then I stopped bothering watching the content. Like, I barely watched the content in the beginning with. Um, people kept, like, pointing me towards, like, hey, did you see what the rubber did? And, hey, did you, see? like, they, they steal the, not, I don't know about the rubber specifically, but, but you've got these uh, animation channels, which it's difficult. You don't want to lump them all in together because not every animation channel is the same. And, um, some of them were stealing art. Some of them were not giving credit. Some of them were doing that classic thing where um, <laughs> when somebody um, calls them out for not doing the things that they absolutely, like the bare, the bare minimum of human behavior of, hey, credit the writers and artists. Or, hey, don't steal stuff that isn't Creative Commons. Uh, they would just delete comments, which is like the weirdest way to react to that. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say that we're superior. I don't think that's fair because it's, it's a broad and generalized statement, but I appreciate the sentiment regardless. And speaking of regardless, uh, <laughs> regardless, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Tuesday.